Hello, I hope you're having a great day. So I have another florist delivery this morning. So I'm gonna just get some zinnias harvested and go around and harvest what I can and get that ready for them. I'll take pictures of the buckets and then hopefully I can get to these weeds today. We'll see. So I think I let my amaranth get a little big. These are huge plumes. Huge. I don't even know what you do with it when it's this big. And maybe you don't do anything but fill a bucket and think it looks really pretty. This is a five gallon bucket, not a normal floral bucket. It's huge. And this is one plant that I was just like, you know what, this plant does not need to be here. It's by my Snapdragons. It was a volunteer, but I let it come up just in case I needed it. But then I had about three more volunteers and then I had all the amaranth I planted and I have way too much amaranth. So I decided to cut it and throw it in a bucket. Maybe I'll put it in a cooler. I don't know if anyone can even use it when it's this big. I mean, you could strip this all the way down to the tip and cut it and use it. So maybe I'll try to figure out something with it. Maybe I'll ask my florist what they think about it. <laughs> oh, it was fun. Now I think I'm gonna cut the huge stalks out. So that'll be insane. And my field actually looks like a lot better because I cut the, I just cut it completely out of where it had came up as volunteer. I've used some of it. I've sold some of it. I have a ton of it. I have another whole patch my annual garden, I didn't plant any amaranth. I planted it all over and, well, that's an annual garden too, but outside of the deer fence. But now look. So there are some of the stalks still in a pile, but you can see my sunflowers and then you can see my snapdragons again. That was all amaranth before. And then as you can see, there's another huge thing that I could take out and cut. And I don't know why I did this, but I like took the time to cut it and put it in that bucket and then laughed because it's too big for anything. And I was looking at it and I was like, hmm, I've never made a wreath, but I made those great, I mean, I made a pine wreath and then I made those grapevine wreaths. I think really early on, like the first year that I was like, I'm gonna be a flower farmer. And I found these grapevines and I was like, oh, I could do this and sell these. And then I never sold them. I just kind of kept them but check it out. Now I know amaranth is super messy and it probably fades, but I was like, well, I'm gonna just wrap it around. Watched a few Laura from Garden Answer videos. She makes wreaths all the time. This is not a Laura wreath. <laughs> this is just plainly a wreath of amaranth. And all I did is just place the things on them because I'm not talented. I think this is the third wreath I've ever made in my entire life. And it's humongous. But for those crafty people out there, I do think you could use an amaranth wreath if it was like an outside, because I think it would be messy inside. Um, and I didn't, I didn't like flip the amaranth every which way, I just kind of overlapped it because it already does that on its own. But this is massive because I made a huge grapevine wreath. So like, I mean, massive. I felt like I could put my head in there and be a lion, but it didn't work. I definitely think you could like add stuff to it and that would be a great background and you could probably even put more amaranth going different ways because it's really pretty. And if I would have like crisscrossed him like I'm supposed to, like every other way or whatever, it probably would have even looked cooler. But it's an idea. I know they make like sprays and stuff, so you could probably spray it to keep the seeds from dropping. It's a really pretty color, especially for fall. And the amaranth plumes sometimes get enormous. So, I mean, it might be an idea for people out there. I thought I would try it. I thought it would be fun. 
Maybe I can hang it on my garage. It might fade. We'll see what happens. I'll keep you updated on the Amaranth Reap. So it's August 23rd. We'll see when it is just not doable. As far as the Amaranth part, I'm not going to probably do anything to make it real pretty because I should probably be weeding and doing stuff to my field and not making an Amaranth Reap. Sometimes we just veer off. Life takes us in a different direction and you're sitting on the floor putting together an amaranth wreath and you don't really know why. <laughs> so, this is probably going to break and fall down in the weather. <laughs> Maybe not. We'll see. I just thought I'd hang it here from the fence and see how it does outside. It probably would do a lot better inside. The worst thing that's going to happen is we will all get a good laugh about it later. Okay, so I have these two products and I think they're supposed to like help things last longer. So I was thinking I could spray like this one on half of the amaranth and this one on the other half. Or maybe a third, a third, and then leave a third and see the difference. But I guess I need spray bottles. <laughs> I'm going to have to find some spray bottles or go to town and pick some up. Maybe I'll do that over my lunch. It's almost that time anyway. I don't think I have any out here. Um, but maybe I'll do that. And we'll see. Maybe it'll last a day. Maybe it'll last a week. Maybe it'll last three weeks. If it lasts a long time, then I think it would be worth putting together a really nice wreath made of amaranth. If it doesn't work... Um, and of course this test is outside. Obviously it would last a lot longer if it was like on an enclosed porch or away from the wind and the elements. Um, I'll probably have amaranth growing right by that fence, but we mow and weed eat there. So I'm not too worried about it. And again, I'm not going to tell you, I think that was pretty because I literally was like, okay, I'm just going to do this real fast. And I just tied it all to my grapevine wreath. And then I don't think, I think if you took your time and alternated them and actually made it look nice it would be very pretty um at least on day one it would be very pretty i'm not sure how many days it will last outside and it is in full sun it probably won't last that long it's probably gonna be like fail but i should spray that stuff on it and at least test them and see which one i like better at least with the amaranth then i would know um maybe pine is different and all the different things so I will look for some spray bottles and we'll give it a chance. It's not bad from far away at all. <laughs> well, it looks like the wind is kind of moving my amaranth around. It's kind of hanging, which looks kind of neat. Um, but anyway, I got this ribbon so I could tie it to the top of the wreath. So that if the wind falls or anything happens, we know the top of the wreath is up here. So, okay. And then I put Crowning Glory in one spray bottle and I put the Wilt Stop in the other spray bottle. And I think I'm just going to leave this top third I'm just gonna leave it natural and then I'm gonna spray crowning glory over here on the left side oh but I haven't used this so I'm gonna spray it all down I don't know how much of this stuff you're supposed to use there we go and then on this other side I'm gonna use wilt stop And up there will just be plain. Okay, so we'll just see how this does. We'll see if one of them like holds it or if amaranth is even worth making into a wreath. I do like how it dangles down right here. So I know what you're thinking. <laughs> well, I'm thinking it too. Like, hmm, it probably won't work. But you never know something. Sometimes you have to try something and see it with your own eyes. And then you just know. And maybe you don't try it again. Or maybe you try something different. Right now I do like this part, 
you could put stuff up here to make it prettier. Um, I think it would look really neat if you took your time. Like I said, I threw this together. It's not meant to be like this gorgeous like piece. It's just me testing to see what happens and to see what it looks like. In the end, I might just laugh and be like, oh, that was horrible. It might break off of that sprint that string and I'll have to get something tougher. So it's like, why don't you just get something tougher now? <laughs> but I wanted it to just be a fast test. What would amaranth look like on a wreath? How would it act? And what do these two products do? Do they do anything at all to make it last longer or look better? And I think we're gonna see all of those things. So I'm gonna leave it here. It's gonna get sun in the morning, like hot sun. But then in the after, all afternoon, it'll be shaded and then the evenings are cool. Um, I think we might have a storm on Friday, so it might get wet. I mean, all sorts of things might happen. And I'll just keep you updated. It actually doesn't look too bad from the road, so I thought it was kind of neat. It made me smile when I drove up here and saw it up here. So that was a quick test. And now I need to probably get back to doing real farm work. <sighs> I think I'm really putting up weeding. So you might be asking yourself, why is she doing this test? Like, what is the point of this? So every year I grow amaranth, right? So I've grown it the last two years and it's beautiful. And I get a lot of plumes that are small and the florists love them and I use them in bouquets and some of it drapes down and it's just a really pretty thing to have. But it kind of goes crazy and you end up with these huge plumes and you, don't know what to do with them. And you feel bad when you like cut this plant down or you cut these huge plumes off. You're like, gosh, I hate that all of this goes to waste because it's so pretty. So I thought, well, I wonder like that with like evergreen mixed in would be really pretty. I don't know if you could keep it in a cooler and it would last until the Christmas season that might be pushing it, but it also would look really good with some browns tucked in and stuff for Halloween and orange. Like the orange would really pop on that red color. So I'm just trying to come up with ways that I don't just have to throw all of these ginormous plumes of amaranth out. So that's why I thought I would test it. That's why it's a very fast and not that pretty test, but it will give me an idea. I don't really know, but we're gonna find out. Whew. It looks so much better. I lost a little bit of yarrow, but that's okay. This winter, I'll just clean out the holes and put more seed in. But I got all the grasses out of there for the most part. It looks like I missed some up here at the top, but it's getting better. Get the weeds out of my zinnias, the weeds out of my yarrow, down to where that green bag is down there anyway. I did leave the hollyhocks. <laughs> They're pretty. And then my salvia is looking a little rough. I think it got too dry. I might take something and shear off the tops. It might come back. There's a lot of seeds. I might have a lot of salvia next year. But it always feels good to get a section done. So now I looked on beyond the pine trees and what I weeded before isn't too bad yet. Like it's a littler weed, so it won't be as big of a job. So if I take from that bag down to the end where the pine trees where I did last time, I will hopefully get this all weeded. And then in front of these, I can probably just mow and call it good fill in any empty holes with seed this winter um, and figure out what i'm going to put where the zinnias are so it got kind of hot i'm a little bit sweaty a mess um but i'm happy with that i think i'll empty the bag and take the weeds down to the ditch and call it a day i hope everybody enjoyed this video and i hope you have a great day